In SAP S4 HANA, both primary and secondary cost elements are now created as GL accounts using transaction code FS00. I will demonstrate you this difference by creating one GL account into SAP ECC and the second one is into SAP S4 HANA. So in my right hand side it is SAP ECC and on the left it is SAP S4 HANA. First I will go to the transaction code FS00 in SAP ECC. FS00 and normally if you remember we use this transaction code to create GL accounts. So now I will use the company code 2000 and create a new GL account let's say 003 create button and then you choose the account group so I will use the account group general GL accounts so P&L statement account and balance sheet account so this will this will be P&L statement account because cost elements are created for profit and loss accounts and not for balance sheet accounts which you already know so I will choose the account type I will just enter X and short text let's say this is sales account and I will go to the control tab and choose the account text category which is only input text allowed line item display so that I can see the line items for all those transactions which will be posted by using this GL account so that I can see the totals balance sort key I will put let's say sort key is that how the document list will be sorted so I will use cost center create bank or interest I will choose the field status group by cost accounts okay and that's it so I will go and then save my GL account so 477003 is created as sales account that was that's what we are doing into SAP ECC and then if we want to create cost element then we will click on this button edit cost element or we were using transaction codes KA01 to create primary cost element and KA06 to create secondary cost element so or you can click this button edit cost element and then you will enter the date suppose I will type today's date or the beginning of the financial year date let's say 1st of April 2019 and click on master data and I will choose the cost element category let's say primary cost okay and we'll choose the default account assignment so I will choose the cost and the relevant cost center as per this cost element let's say this is a sales account so I will choose motorcycle sales so default account assignment is that whenever cost this cost element will be used so automatically the cost center will be popped up so you don't have to choose the cost center manually 
and then click on save so first you created gl account and then you created cost element and then you assigned cost center as a default account assignment so that's what that's what the steps we are following when we create gl account or cost element into sap ecc now i will show you how gl account is now created into sap as for hana along with cost elements so i will go into sap as for hana again go to the transaction code fs00 so az01 is my company code and i want to create a gl account centrally so i will click on create button and type 416102 continue and gl account type okay i will choose primary costs or revenue so you, you see that this gl account type was not into sap ecc this has been added into sap as for hana which allows primary and secondary cost elements to be created on the same screen along with the gl account so it's a bit easier now and choose the account group let's say this is profit and loss and choose the account type let's say x short text okay i wanna this create this as as an electricity account which is a purchase account again uh, electricity or purchase account is the part of profit and loss account so let's say electricity right and then go to the control data and choose the text category that is only input text allowed sort key again you can use cost center to sort the list of transactions cost element category you see that cost element category is in the same screen where you are creating the gl account now so choose 01 which is primary cost and if you notice you don't have line item display field which you have in sap ecc here line item display why line item display is no longer there because in sap as for hana the totals table is no longer required because data can be aggregated from the line item table which is ac doka that is also used for reporting so this avoids data redundancy so that's the reason we don't have line item display into sap as for hana go to the next tab and assign the field status group so i will use g004 as cost center and that's it so when you click click on save so your electricity account has been created both as gl account and cost element